case you haven't heard earlier in the day, Manchester United notched up another victory as Beardsley goes in here and Flowers comes out to meet him. existence lately of Newcastle is that to continue as Aspria gets through and Henry shuts him out Lee into the side netting Great bit of individual skill. And the flag has stayed down here when Newcastle thought that Shearer was offside. And Newell has broken into the box. It's Tim Sherwood. Can he line up the shot? Yes! Oh, it's off the bar! Newell goes in looking for the follow-up. And Newcastle keen to close the gap on Manchester United to three points after United's victory over Coventry through that man Eric Cantona again earlier today. Here's Gillespie. Watson to Batty. Break for Batty and it's in! What a goal and what a story as David Batty scores on his return to Ewood Park. His first goal for Newcastle and what a place to score it! Well, he didn't score too many goals, Batty. He doesn't score too many in his left foot either. But he certainly cracks this one. Great strike. Gillespie's involved, Watson, little ball into Batty, he's not closed down quickly enough. He should have been out much quicker. Flowers, no chance. Everyone except him, Flowers inside Newcastle's half now as Blackburn go for broke in search of this equaliser this is Wilcox helping it through to Shearer and Fenton Fenton the Geordie combines with the other North Easterner Alan Shearer to slam the ball past Shaka Hislop and bring misery to the Tyneside visitors and their manager well they've kept Shearer quiet all evening it's the first time he breaks loose gets himself a little bit of space, the ball's actually deflected, comes to Fenton. Well, there may be one or two question marks against the keeper, I think he could, could have done better here. It's a good first time volley, but it's straight at his luck. I was surprised to see it end up in the back of the net, I have to say. It's probably, what, eight or nine yards, he's hit on the volley. Well, I think if you're going to win championships, you have to make saves like this. Directly at him, doesn't get his body fully behind it, and it ends up in the roof of the net. Newcastle caught in this awkward dilemma now. They desperately want three points, but they don't want to throw away the one that they could earn if the score stays as it is. This is Ginola. Lovely ball to Gillespie. And he's pulled it back in there, turned away by Flowers. As Ferdinand and Beardsley are closing in. And now the break's on for Blackburn. Fenton shut out initially, but he could be through now. Put through by Shearer. It's 2-1. And Fenton has done it again. Newcastle can't believe it. But it's a Geordie boy who may well have left their championship bid in tatters. What a substitution this has turned out to be from Ray Hartford. He's brought Fenton on for Newell. I think he makes the wrong decision initially. He should have given this straight to Shearer. Goes by himself, gets a lucky break. He's probably offside there. But a great finish. Flips it over the advancing keeper. Lovely little finish, but was he offside? Well, when Shearer played that ball, had Fenton straight into an offside position. That's something that... Newcastle may well argue 
but the bold fact is that Graham Fenton, who'd only scored one goal for Blackburn before tonight, has scored two this evening, and Kevin Keegan certainly thinks that Fenton was offside. The final whistle goes, and what price Newcastle for the title now? A damaging defeat inflicted by last year's champion, Flatburn Rovers, with one of the new breed of Ewood Park, Graham Fenton, scoring goals.